Welcome to Little Explorers ABC Edition. What letter will we explore today? Get ready, because here we go! Hi guys, welcome to the ABC Edition of Little Explorers. We're going to start exploring a different letter every week. So let's start with the ABC song. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? What letter do you think we'll do today? Today we're going to talk about the letter T. Tessa Tiger's Temper Tantrums by Barbara Derubitis. Tessa Tiger was very good at playing sports, but she was not a very good sport. Most of all, Tessa liked to play t-ball. In fact, all the students in Alphabetti's class liked to play t-ball after school. They had split their class into two teams. Sometimes Tessa's team won. Then Tessa would throw her hat in the air. She would twist and twirl and she would hoot and holler. Sometimes Tessa's team lost. Then Tessa would hit her hat against a tree. She would stomp and storm and once she even stuck out her tongue. Stop Tessa, don't do that, her team told her. They were becoming more and more upset with Tessa. One afternoon, the t-ball game was especially exciting. The score was tied three to three. There was one more inning. Tessa's team was first to bat, but no one scored a run. Tessa's face looked stormy. Then it was the other team's turn to bat, and their first batter hit a home run. Tessa's team had lost the game. Tessa Tiger threw her most terrible tenter tantrum ever. She tossed her mitt into a tree. She kicked a basket of balls and stubbed her toe. Then she tripped on a bat and fell. Tessa tumbled topsy-turvy to the bottom of a hill, and there she sat, crying buckets of tears. Both teams rushed to help Tessa. Are you hurt, they asked. No, screamed Tessa. T-ball is stupid. All the kids put their hands over their ears. They tiptoed away. Tessa trudged home. She felt terrible. Her mitt was lost, her shirt was torn, her toe hurt, and worst of all, she had a temper tantrum tummy ache. The next morning, Tessa's team talked with their teacher, Alphabetti. They told her about Tessa's terrible temper tantrum. Tessa's not a good sport, they said. She takes the fun out of playing t-ball. We don't want Tessa on our team. Tessa's team didn't know that she was just around the corner listening. Alphabetti sat quietly for a minute. She tapped her toes. She twiddled her thumbs. She thought things over. Then she smiled. I have an idea. Later that day, Alphabetti made her class their favorite treat, peanut butter on toast. While they ate, she told a funny story. It was about the time she threw a temper tantrum when she was just a little lion cub. I had painted a picture of my twin sister, Alphabetti told the class. I had painted it on the tablecloth with ketchup. It was a great artistic masterpiece, but my sister washed it out. I was so angry with her, said Alphabetti. I threw a real fit. Talk about temper tantrums. I tossed around so much. Do you know what happened? She paused. I twisted my own tail into a knot. All the students gasped. But the thought of Alpha Betty having a temper tantrum was just too funny. The students were tickled. They started to giggle. And they giggled until their tummies hurt in a good way. Then Alpha Betty asked a question. Do you think temper tantrums are helpful? Tessa blurted out, no. After that, words tumbled out of Tessa's mouth. Temper tantrums hurt your tummy in a bad way, and your friends don't want to play with you anymore ever again in their whole lives. Two big tears trickled down Tessa's face. What can you do instead of losing your temper, Alphabetti asked the class. Her students had lots of ideas. Stop and think before you blow up. Try to make games fun for everyone. Always be a good sport, win or lose. Tessa listened quietly. Then very softly she spoke, I'm sorry about yesterday. I'll be a better sport from now on, honest. That's great, Tessa, her friend said. Do you want to play t-ball after school? Tessa smiled, you bet. 
Tessa Tiger's team lost again that day. Everyone turned to look at Tessa. What would she do? Well, Tessa did not have a temper tantrum. Maybe we'll do better tomorrow, she grinned. And maybe we won't. But win or lose, there will be no knots in our tails. Then Tessa started to giggle. And Tessa Tiger and both teams laughed until their tummies hurt in a good way. You've been listening to Tessa Tiger's Temper Tantrums by Barbara Derubitis. Hi guys, it's time to grab those homemade shakers so we can do another shaker song today. So today I am rocking a tin shaker with glue sticks inside. What did you make your shaker out of today? Are you ready to rock it? Here we go. Shake it high. Shake it low. Shake it high. Shake it low. Round and round is how we go. Shake it high. Shake it low. Shake it high. Shake it low. Can you reach and touch your toes? Shake it high. Shake it low. Shake it high. Shake it low. Touch your shaker to your nose. Shake it high. Shake it low. Shake it high. Shake it low. Round and round is how we go. Great job, guys. My Tea Sound Box by Jane Moncure. T had a box. I will find things that begin with my T sound, he said. I will put them into my sound box. I like toys. I'll look for toys. Little T found a toy train on a train track. Did he put the toy train and the track into his box? He did. Little T found a toy tractor. Did he put the tractor into the box with the toy train and the track? He did. Then Little T found a truck. He drove the truck up, up, up a tall mountain. He drove to the top, the very tip top. At the top of the tall mountain, he found two turtles. Did he put the two turtles into his box? He did. Then he found a toad. Did he put the toad into the box? He did. Now the box was so full that he could not see over the top. He tripped. He tumbled down, down, down the mountain. He tumbled into a turkey. Turkey feathers flew. So Little T made a turkey feather hat. He and the turkey tap danced together. Little T found a tambourine. He tapped the tambourine. Tap, 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 tap. Little T, the turkey, and the toad tap danced some more. Then Little T put all of his things into the box. Suddenly, Little T heard a terrific noise. He ran into a tent. When he looked out, he saw a tiger. The tiger opened its mouth. The tiger's mouth had many teeth. I have a loose tooth, said the tiger. Please pull out my tooth. So Little T pulled out the tooth. Thank you, said the tiger. Then Little T and the tiger went inside the tent. They played with all the toys in the box. They had a terrific time. Little T's word list. Tambourine, teeth, tent, tiger, toad, toy, track, tractor, train, truck, turkey, turtle. You have been listening to My Tea Sound Box by Jane Moncure. Hi guys, this one is called The Animals in the Jungle Say. Are you ready? The parrots in the jungle say, squawk, 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 squawk. The parrots in the jungle say, squawk, 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 all day long. The monkeys in the jungle say, ooh, 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 ooh. The monkeys in the jungle say, ooh, 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 all day long. The tigers in the jungle say, grr, 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 grr. Grr, grr, grr. The tigers in the jungle say grr, grr, grr all day long. We're going to try it one more time, and now we're going to add some of our body parts. Are you ready? Here we go. The parrots in the jungle say squawk, 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 squawk. The parrots in the jungle say squawk, squawk, squawk all day long. The monkeys in the jungle say ooh, 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 ooh. The monkeys in the jungle say ooh, ooh. 
The monkeys in the jungle say, ooh, 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 all day long. The tigers in the jungle say, grr, 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 grr. The tigers in the jungle say, grr, 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 all day long. Great job, guys. Fergal and the Bad Temper by Robert Starling. This is Fergal. What a nice dragon. He's a friendly little fellow, but when someone tells him what to do, Fergal gets very, very angry. Like when his dad said, Fergal, come down for your dinner, but Fergal wanted to keep playing. And then he said Fergal had to eat all his vegetables if he wanted dessert. Fergal felt fiery. It's not fair! I don't want to eat my greens! So Fergal didn't get any dessert, and he didn't get any dinner either. Fergal got in a pickle on the soccer field. You're a goalkeeper, Fergal. It's not fair, said Fergal. I don't want to be the goalkeeper. His fiery temper got Fergal into trouble all over town. You have to wait for them to cool, Fergal. You have to miss a turn, Fergal. Wherever he went, Fergal just couldn't keep his cool. Finally, his friends had had enough. Everyone's ignoring me, Mom, said Fergal. It's not fair. Well, Fergal, dinner is in the trash, Bear's pastries are burned, and no one can play soccer. And that's not fair. We all get fiery, sighed Mom, but we find a way to cool down. My trick is to count to ten. The next day, Fergal felt fiery again. That's not, but then he remembered his mom's trick. One, two, three, four, five. And he didn't feel so fiery. It had worked. Fergal noticed a lot of animals had their own way to cool down. When Crow felt fiery, he told his friends about it. When Fox felt fiery, he watched the sunset. Wolf always found a nice quiet spot and made a big noise. Cat lay back and had a real good scratch. And then there was Hare, whizzing about stopping her feeling fiery in the first place. Now Fergal had lots of ways to cool down. And when he didn't waste his fire on being angry, he found there was much more interesting things to do with it. You have been listening to Fergal and the Bad Temper by Robert Starling. Hi guys, thanks for joining us for our Little Explorers ABC edition letter T today. Today we read the books Tessa Tiger's Temper Tantrum by Barbara D. Rubitis, published by Kane Press. Then we read My Tea Sound Fox by Jane Moncure, published by Child's World. And finally we read Fergal and the Bad Temper by Robert Sterling, published by Macmillan. We read a lot of books about temper today, right? Did you have you ever had a temper tantrum? I certainly hope not a big one, right? And did you find anything to put in your T sound box at home? What could you find around your house that begins with the letter T? I hope you find something good and let me know next time I see you. Our last thing is we're going to talk about the difference between the let the capital letter T and the little letter T. Are you ready? So we are going to draw the capital letter T and the little letter T. Thank you for joining us today for Little Explorers ABC edition and I hope we'll see you again next week for our next letter. Today we've talked about the letter T. So grab your marker and your alphabet map if you're following along at home and we're going to color in the letter T. I chose green for my apple today. What color will you choose at home to color on your map? Thank you for joining us and we'll see you again soon.